In this video, we're gonna show you when we run it, how, so you can how, see how it kind of stops, it jumps. It's not a smooth surface. So now once this dries completely, which we're gonna do almost there, we're gonna sand it now slightly, okay? If we didn't do that with the acetone, it would have been worse, the acetone helped. But now, now we're gonna have to sand it. So we're just checking it all right now as Galito's going through. And it's jumping, see how it jumps. So now we're gonna sand it. Slightly. Slightly, you don't do it hard. Because we're only trying to make it smooth, not take too much material off. It's 36 grit is what we're using. <coughs> See, look how smooth. See, he's not jumping. <clears throat> now we're gonna do the other side. <clears throat> He's gonna get the acetone to take that stuff off. That's why he uses the acetone. I was just waiting until we had the darker uh, hardener so you could see it. Because in the white, it was kind of hard to see, but you can see now when he wipes it down. So after he does this, we gotta do one more coat. See, there's our original, our original. It's the original. And now this is what filled in. We gotta do one last time uh, to make everything the final one and then we'll use the red on one side and the black on this side so now we're using 77 here another color on the opposite side so we can see what we miss and uh what's too much template that he made to take the access off. You can see how it... so Now we're using the dark gray uh, in order to see, remember that was the side, this is the side we just did and that was what we did before, we're using a different color so we can see what we missed and what we didn't miss and then we have too much. He's going to use the template again. Take the excess off. <coughs> so we have our template on the bottom come protruding through. Now he's got to do it two times. So now after we put this, the P77, remember this was pink before, now pink went over here and we put a darker color. Now we let this dry a little bit, we do the acetone with the template, and then once it's cured, then we do this, uh, the, 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 the Evercoat, which is this can here. And as you can read here, let me put it in the light, you can see that it says ultra smooth finish putty. So that's your last, last coat on both sides of here to have that fine finished look. And then if, and at the very end, if you notice, as we've been applying it and cleaning it off, we haven't sanded. Most people block, just throw putty and they sand it and they don't do it, they don't take the time. This is something that you're taking the time. Because when you just do it crazy, or you just do putty and sand it, then you don't have the straight line. Everything's kind of curved. So this to keep the straight line true, we use the tape, we use the putty, we use the acetone to clean it off, we use the access of the soft uh, uh, squeegee to the template. And now once it cures to a certain point, then we start sanding. So uh, Carlito's already given me the sign that he's gonna start sanding. So we're gonna sand the side that we were just doing. Remember, he's only doing a little bit. He's not going back and forth. He's just- One time. One time, scraping the surface. <clears throat> Taking as much access. He's using 36 grit sandpaper. See, and you can see it on the tape. So now he's, he's gonna acetone. Remember the dust I was telling you about earlier? 
it was just impossible to show you when it's white, but you can see the little, little, little dust particles. So the acetone, when you use it to squeegee with the acetone, it takes that off. If not, that dries in there, and then you've got to sand it down. <coughs> so that's why he's doing. He's going to do this now. And then once everything is smooth on both surfaces, then he'll do the other coat, and that'll be the final. And you'll see that in the next video, or the next couple videos. But I just wanted you to see how with one scrape, without pushing it too hard, you have it on there. Now he's using the acetone, cleaning those surface areas. See? Look how it's nice and shiny and clean. <clears throat> That's why you can't let it dry 100%. So and, and he's doing the same thing it was almost sanding, but he's not sanding. He's using acetone as a sandpaper to take the material off because the material is only so hard <clears throat> and it's not cured 100% so it's you can manipulate it and clean it off. If you waited till it dried, then it would be hard, like hard pebbles. So now, we're gonna come back here like we did in the previous videos, and since we've added all those layers, we wanna see if we're, we're dead center, we're, we're uh, level, see? So it's level. Now we're gonna move a little bit further back. You see, it's leveled. And so you keep going, and we check this all the way down to make sure that our, 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 our guide hasn't changed. Because if you don't check it every once in a while, then you might build up one higher than and then all of a sudden you're lopsided and you gotta start from square one again. So now we're mixing we're mixing the Evercoat. So he took this Evercoat material. He put it on here. And now he's gonna apply the hardening, not a blend hardening. We're using black. You gotta mix it good so it's all one color and that looks like there's swirls in it. Before it even dries, you see how quick you put that on there? Right away he's sanding it. He's taking the top material out before it gets too hard so he doesn't have to sand it as much. <coughs> see how quick that stuff dried? Now he's sanding until he gets to the other color. That's why you have different layers of colors. So when you're sanding, now we know. See, there's a white. The white starting to show up. That's our, that was our, our guide. Remember, the sides is what we're filling in. So we need to have the top. So when we put the level on it, we can actually see that it's level all the way around. And all we did was fill the sides. And you can see how many, how much layer the sides have. When we peel the paint today. I mean, it's not the paint, the tape. When we peel the tape today. Uh, you're gonna see what we were all talking. All this work, what this work was being done today, why we did it. So you see, because it didn't dry right away, or sanded it before it dries, it's coming up. This is 36 grit, it's pretty heavy duty grit. So you put a fresh one on there to sand the other side. All right, so now he's gonna peel the tape. This is gonna be awesome. Remember the excess? Remember the excess from here? This is how easy it is. Look, you take the tape off and it comes right out. See, look. And then you have your edge. Now the sanding is down to minimal. All you gotta do is a little bit of sanding instead of doing all that sanding of all this stuff that was on there. See, it comes right off the tape. Glenn, hold that for me. Pull that tape, pull the tape, see? That's the point that we look at the different shades of colors, the tape, it peels right off. And now you have an easier surface to clean. You don't have to sand as much. So when we started off with this, now when we peel the tape, this is what it looks like. That was the purpose of it. That's how you get a perfectly symmetrical line. You look down the line, 
you see the different shades of color, and you see it all front. Now kind of just taking the other side off. So now that we did the 77, we took the tape off, here we go. Every time you do this, you test it. See? Perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. Perfectly straight. So this is all level. This is the same height as this height, same width as that, same width. Perfect. That's what it takes to make it perfect. Now we sand it, we do the inside like we showed with the, with the, the little bucket. This, just to give you an idea how it's going to look, it's going to be round and uh, circular instead of being like squared off. I, it, I believe it's going to give it more speed. We'll know more once uh, we actually see trawl on the water. But for, from according to what we think, it's going to be a little bit quicker and it'll give more stability because it'll have some suction. So when you try to take a hard turn, it won't fishtail out. It's a dual purpose. It's kind of like we're considering. And we're also going to flare this up here in the future, which in the future videos. And basically that is to help to keep the nose down so you don't need trim tabs. That's the idea. Now you can see the buildup from here. How much we had to build it up to match that. Look, this side was a little bit higher than this side. Look how much we had to fill it up for this to match both sides. This is what it takes. It takes a lot of time and patience and it's an art. And you can see now, even up here, it's level. Everything is perfectly level. The whole idea is you have to level the boat, the boat's perfectly level, and then you put your marks on everything to make sure everything is level. And then we have a little lip inside here. You can see the little lip here. And that, when we fill it in, it'll be nice. All right, so basically <coughs> that we did the, uh, the uh, Evercoat. Now we showed that it was leveled, right? If you look here, We'll just go hit this three inch mark. If you come over here, same three inch marks at the same spot on this line. Now if you move this further down, you see that it's level. And you measure here, and you see the measurement there. Now you go on the other side. And that measurement should be the same. So how this works is now we go down the line and we measure to make sure that everything is actually the same measurement from here to here, the height wise, same thing on that side. So there's all the imperfections are gone. All right. <laughs>